In this example, we're going to be solving this multivariable equation for D. This equation has X's, Y's, and D's in it. And, I mean, I guess you also see the E, but the E is understood to be the exponential function, too. So it's not a variable at all. It's definitely a constant. All right, so looking at this equation, we want to get D all by itself. And we notice right now that um, on the left-hand side of the equation, we have a D sitting right there. It's buried within a within the top of a fraction, um, and we have a D on the right-hand side as well. And so as I'm looking at this equation, what I'm really noticing is the fact that on the left-hand side that D is buried on the top of a fraction, it would be nice not to have this fraction at all. And so I'm going to start uh, cleaning this equation up by multiplying both sides by the denominator on the left. So I'm going to be multiplying both sides by Y squared, uh, just so that I can not have a fraction anymore. So if I multiply the left-hand side by y squared, I just have the um, top of that fraction left. And then um, when I multiply the the right-hand side by y squared, I can just uh, write it here next to the e to the y times the d. Okay. And so now I have I have an equation where I don't have a fraction anymore. Um, and really I have three terms if you want to think through this. I've got the term y on the that starts our left hand side off and then I've got the term x times d. Now that is a term that includes the d. Uh, that's the second term that's on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side I have one term. It's uh, y squared times e to the y times the d. So we see that that um, right hand side um, also has a term that has D in it. So now if I want D all by itself, I need all terms that have D by themselves on one side of the equation with everything else on the other. And the way I'm going to do that is um, I'm going to move the X times D from the left hand side to the right hand side using addition. Uh, when I add X times D to both sides, the left hand side just becomes the Y. And then on the right hand side, I'd have the Y squared E to the Y times D plus my X times D um, because I added that uh, X times D from the left hand side over to the right hand side. Okay, so now by doing that, I now have both terms on the right hand side have that um, D that's sitting there as a, a factor. Um, and the left-hand side doesn't have the D in it at all. And so the whole purpose of isolating all of the terms that have D in it um, on one side by themselves is because that now is our common factor that we can pull out. So if we pull that D out um, of the two terms that are on the right-hand side here, the first term is... Um, what's left over is just the stuff sitting out in front of the D, so my uh, Y squared D to the Y. And then for the second term that comes after the plus sign, if I pull out the common factor of D there, I'm left with simply X. And so now um, I'm one baby step away from getting D all by itself. And so we have uh, Y is equal to D times stuff. So that stuff is what's in the way to getting D by itself, but it's D times it. And so we can undo that multiplication by dividing um, by the stuff that's in the parentheses. And of course, we've got to do that on both sides. And so what that leaves us with then is um, D is equal to uh, the Y over everything that was in parentheses sitting right next to the D. So that would be the Y squared E to the Y plus X. And so that is our final answer for what we get when we are solving this multivariable equation for D.